Hi, John Helper from Kriva, and um, that is all of us pins that grown up with it, really with the reusable packaging system with pin bottles. So that's kind of a circular economy success story that we all know. And when we started as a design agency, we thought that why do we not apply this thinking into other forms of packaging, like e-commerce? So, Rebag is simply an adaptation of the bottle return system into e-commerce deliveries. You shop something online, you can just return the empty one and have it reused. And why? EU has declared a war on plastic waste. And big companies are, are seeing that consumer behavior is changing. People are asking for alternatives to single use plastic. Today, in the World Environment Day, plastic is the number one problem that is all over the media at the moment. So, companies need to be kind of future proofing themselves for the changing consumer behavior and testing new solutions. Um, I'm going to show you that actually. I'll just tell you what feedback is simply. So we have different sizes of, of packaging. We, we mainly work with clothing companies, 40 brands all over Europe. So when you buy something online, you can get your delivery in a reusable packaging. Like this one, this is the medium size. When you keep your clothes, or you can hold it into letter size. Put it into a post box anywhere in the world. Comes back to us. We clean it, check it, redistribute it, and it's used again. And what you get is usually a reward. So you get a you save money when you shop online for your next purchase. So that's kind of a deposit. The web store gets their customer back, and, and there is no trash. Very simple. And we don't even sell these packages. We deliver it as a service. So. Uh, what the web stores pay is per cycle of, of feedbacks that they use. We work with about 40 web stores in 10 European countries, mainly in the Nordics, in the Netherlands, some in Germany as well. Um, and we've been very successful in different kinds of rewards and prices. Last year we, were, uh, we won the um, Nordic Environment Prize, which is bit like Obama winning the uh, Nobel Prize before his time, like giving a boost to go and achieve something. Uh, in China we got uh, bronze in China's biggest design competition, Design Intelligence Award. And, uh, and we work with some of the best brands here, here in the Nordics. Um, I mean, in all simplicity, Repack is super simple sustainable solutions for solution for any e-commerce company especially the ones that ship clothing and products that don't need protection you can return this one anywhere in the world and currently they come back to our location here in uh, actually in estonia nowadays thanks to finnish posting and um, now we're working on setting up a hub in the uk and the us it doesn't really make sense to return empty repacks from the UK or the US to Estonia. Um, like I said, why, why it works for the web store as well is that this builds customer loyalty. They don't do it just for the sake of environment. There has to be a business reason behind it. So we collect all kinds of information, how people behave, what kind of people use readback, why they use it. And uh, what kind of behavior they show when they shop online. Uh, uh, yeah, well, there are, we have very few customers who buy it just because it's environmentally friendly. Mostly it's um, actually people who we talk to say that, uh, yeah, I like it, but my customers don't. They won't like it. Which is like, um, how would you say it nicely? A progressive thinking undervaluing of our customers. Not even uh, trying it, but saying, like, I'm, I'm a good person, but uh, I don't think any of my customers are. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, um, this is one of the just showing what size of packaging we have. Three, four different sizes, different colors. It can be branded, it can be made to look like the brand. So um, it's not just web stores using reuse and repack. It's more of a, like today, Makia clothing started uh, only shipping in repack. So they removed all the trash from their e commerce from this day onwards. And it's a, it's a brand doing something concrete rather than they then using Readback. So Readback is kind of a tool for, for the brands to engage with their customers and do something concrete in, in, in terms of sustainability because, especially in e-commerce, well, what, what can you do? You have the delivery and you have the packaging, nothing else. Everything else is... is digital and, and there is no direct cons consumer and customer interaction except when it comes to packaging. Um, and this is how Rebag is usually works at, at web stores. So Scandinavian Outdoor is one of the means biggest outdoor stores. They use it in their website so that you can choose it and you pay for it. You pay 350 with a promise that you get 10% of next purchase. But what they also do is that they give it for free for anyone shopping about 99 euros. And there are two reasons for that. that first, we wanted to see does that have any impact on average order value. So do people buy more when, when they have an incentive? Which they do, which is part of the business case for these web stores. Okay, we get we see that it may not be that Reback influences people to buy more, but it's more of a, it's appealing to those people who buy more. And so it's appealing to their best customers. And they want to offer better service to their best customers in terms of offering them reusable and returnable packaging instead of single use. And then it also reduces their single use packaging costs. And when we go and ask them, customers that well, what did you actually think about it? Six out of seven Scandinavian outdoor customers say that yeah this was much nicer experience when I shopped online now than it was previously when I was using a single use package. And there is another reason why it pays to, to continue on that path. And then a different kind of collaboration. Although international is a Finnish high-end uh, fashion brand actually it's French. But the guy who runs it is Finnish, it's based in Paris. But uh, they do t shirts for 400, 500 euros and stuff like that. What they did with the Reebok is that they customized it into a high end fashion item. It was uh, released in Paris Fashion Week, ended up in the Vogue, and was sold at, for example, Galerie Lafayette in Paris for 300 euros. We take 3 euros for this. <laughs> good, exact, uh, good uh, lesson for us in terms of that branding as well. And it's been featured in all, all the uh, like big financial magazines this year. I would say that single-use packaging can do something like this. It was a cool story, although working with Reebok, shipping all the goods from e-commerce in a Reebok, but also bringing in part of their brand and part of their clothing. And they have like tops and, and clothes that Reebok is part of as well as of the design. So it's a very tight collaboration. And so for Aldo, it's probably more, more financially beneficial than us, but for us, it's been a great way of, of getting visibility. So I was talking about the, the data before. So this is what we always go back to, is, is asking the end users, well, what did you think about it? So we ask for customer happiness, we measure that with the promoter score, so it's a simple question of how likely are you to recommend this service on a scale of 1 to 10. Banks and insurance companies get zero or minus something. Samsung is scoring 30%, Apple is scoring 60-70%, so having that at 79 shows that people don't like it, they love it. 
And then what we see that it appeals to high-end e-commerce people, mainly women between 25 to 45 shop online a lot more regularly and spend more on average. So it's the interesting segment for these brands as well. And of course, there's no trash. Thank you.